Hey guys, good to see you. Uh, obviously, uh, game week, Ohio State style this week, uh, relatively healthy going into it. I know, I think, do we give out the depth chart? Uh, we have not yet. We, uh, we'll discuss our depth chart, even though it's still a little chance for change because you still have three days. It's a plus one day after a bye week or first game of the season. Normally give our players uh, Mondays off during the year, but we have, uh, today's going to be Monday, full pads. Tomorrow, if everybody acts appropriately, we'll go uh, Buckeye gear on Tuesday and then Wednesday, same, cut back practice, get their legs back and uh, typical Thursday, and then best Fridays in football on Friday. So that's our week schedule. Um, we're going to uh, have our captain vote tonight at 210, and then I'll uh, let you guys know where, where that ends up. With that said, I'll answer any questions for you. We'll open up front row left, Bob. Um, Urban, last year, everybody was asking you about whether you were a different guy than you were in Florida. And I was wondering, now that you've had a year back, if you're a different guy now than you were last year, I don't know. Uh, well, pretty much the same guy because we've done all right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just can't wait to play football. And I'll do respect and answer questions about football. Front row right, Austin. I think the last time you talked to us, it was four or five units that had your attention. Did you get those? Are you more comfortable with those now? Or do you still need to see a game to truly? No, much more comfortable. The area that we're still trying to solidify is linebacker. Uh, just because there's some young guys in, in, uh, in the depth. And then also Curtis Grant hasn't really played a whole lot of Mike linebacker. He's catching up quick. He missed a lot of practices because he got injured uh, during training camp. But he's, uh, he's going real hard and trying to catch up as fast as he can. So that's the only one area that uh, we're a little bit behind. But the other positions, offensive line, feel very good about. Quarterback feel good about. Receivers, probably uh, one of the most improved areas on our team. Running back feel very good about, so I'm just kind of going through it. Kickers, you know, I'm interested to see how our kicker, uh, our punter reacts. That's one unit that uh, remains to be determined. And then uh, defense, defensive line, they're young, but they're really, Coach Vrabel has done a really nice job with them. Um, secondary, I think uh, I'd like to see how Armani reacts to getting his first college start. My safeties are pretty, you know, veteran group, three, uh, three older players. Tyvis Powell's getting his first college start, so. There are some units, but the linebackers are the one area that's the most concerning. You had to go through at least some stretch where Lindsley was banged up and Norwell was out for a little while. Did they get enough time together in camp? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. Not enough time, but their veteran group played, played all 12 games together last year. So uh, Lindsley, uh, the good thing that gave us is a chance to get Pat Elfline and Jacoby Boren in there, and, and they'll play Saturday. Both those kids have earned that right to play. So they'll both play Saturday. Last year we were not a, a read offense, and I'm not sure to be honest. I'm not sure how much read offense we're going to be. You know, I, I think uh, we're going to have idea the spread. The the idea that we want to do is get guys in space, uh, but we might be do that throwing more this year than we did last year. So I don't want to give away too much, but. Um, I, I, I'm not sure it's going to be, you know, everybody wants to equate it to maybe the 2008 offense at Florida or last year's offense, which was really not. That was either quarterback run or hand it to a big tailback because we just weren't very good at certain spots. But those areas are much better. So I'm hoping that we can spread the field however we're going to do it. And it might not be that, you know, read option part of it. It might be some other ways. Very back, Jared. Oh. Hey, Coach, just curious about the freshman in particular without looking at a 2 b which freshman do you know today will be on the field set and will have earned that right to play? Well, for sure, Dontre Wilson and Ezekiel Elliott will play. Uh, on defense, I I would imagine um, Joey Bosa for sure will play. Mike Hill, we're hoping to get in there. And the freshman punter. I think that's that. Those are the ones for sure. Then the other ones depend to depend how they practice and uh, get going. Middle left, Dave. Urban, I know you probably have <coughs> addressed this, but what's kind of the common thread that maybe led to so much success for your teams in year two? What is it about year two having that foundation in that allowed your teams to take off? Just how fast we're going, and, and it's a blessing whenever you have a no, no staff transition because you're not spending. This time last year was I don't want to you know I use that word a lot. It was terrible. It was awful. It was, I think last week we went to, last year on Friday in preseason, we went to dinner to, at the uh, 
golf course for no other reason, just to because I want it out of their system. What's next? I want the players concentrated on on their game responsibilities. And when you have a, the same coaching staff, a lot of the same players, certainly on offense, and even the defensive players at least were here a year ago. So usually, and it's not just our teams tend to have a much better year their second year if you have the players. Far left, Matt. Um, just wondering, I mean, you're talking about the stage that the offense will be this year. Uh, with Braxton, you know, a year ago he led the team in rushing. Do you, I don't know if you can predict things or whether he will again, but do you foresee that or would you rather? Oh, no, no, I, I hope that doesn't happen. I mean, he's a, he was our, by far our best player. And when I say by far, I mean, it wasn't even the same hemisphere as far as who the next player was that could go make a play and help us win. But I'm very comfortable with Philly Brown. Evan Spencer has had a tremendous camp. Jordan Hall is, 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 looks better than he's ever has. So there's some, there's some. And we have two tight ends that I can't wait to get them involved. So if Braxton's leading it, I don't see that happening this year. If it does, that means we're, something's not going well. When you think ahead to Saturday, what are the big questions that you have? What is the, what are you most eager to see? Well, the game, the, the reaction by Ezekiel Elliott and Dontre Wilson in the stadium. You know, they weren't here in spring practice. The kids that came early, at least they had a chance to play in front of a you know big crowd for the spring game. Um, and I, I don't, but I think coaches have a tendency to devalue what happens when you jog out that tunnel, especially a place like Ohio Stadium. That I mean, it's there will be a lot of deep breaths being taken and. And you just can't create that animal until you, you get that opportunity. So that's what I'm, I mean, I'm anxious, but I'm also, i am been there a few times. So I want to see how Dontre, Dontre is going to return the opening kickoff of the 2013 Ohio State football team. Um, the thing I like about Dontre is he, he doesn't seem phased, but he's not done that yet. So if you see me jog someone else out there, you know, we're having a little hyperventilating issue. <laughs> Which I've seen before. With as much as you guys have learned, isn't about that beautiful about the young players? <laughs> I'm sorry. With as much as coaches have learned about player safety and the way that you have to handle practices, do you now need games more than ever to know what you've got as a coach? Well, you can't. I think the question is because you can't put so many scrimmages and so much contact in practice. Absolutely. And we were very smart this year as far as the way we practice. Uh, if I had a great, our, you know, it depends how we play coming up here, but I really like the way, you know, Coach Marotti and myself have spent an inordinate amount of time with our trainers and just making sure we're doing it the right way. And, and, uh, and I, I really feel good about where we're at. But you're, there's, there's a lot of truth to what you said. You can't simulate the game, the game situations as often as maybe you did in the past. Because very rarely did we have those kind of situations.